Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, Carol singing. What's up, Fabs and Besties? There are so many new doll releases, and I haven't had the best of luck at finding them. Well, I found a few, but I was late to the party for that new Rhymes with Sith Kith Barbie. Sorry, I can never pronounce that. So I thought we could just create our own, using a few dolls and crafts we already have. Okay, so the Kith doll was kind of chocolate with short blonde hair. Here is Barbie Fashionista 180. Loving the skin tone and the blonde hair. However, it's long and not short. This Barbie fashionista is an oldie but goodie and she has the hair. So we have options. I like that she has the hair, but I like that she is not smiling. And I've already put her on the made to move body, so that's kind of less work. I could cut her hair, but that's not gonna happen because it took forever to do those twists. So we're just gonna take some artistic liberties and rock a longer style. Now for the clothes. The Kith doll did come with a clothing rack. So let's take some wooden dowels, popsicle sticks, coffee stirs, and buttons. I take two wooden dowels and cut them to nine inches. I cut another one to five inches and I'm gonna glue them together. Cut two popsicle sticks to three inches, glue them to the wooden dowels. Cut a few more wooden dowels, glue them across the bottom, paint it along with the ends of the coffee stirs. While waiting for that to dry, cut leftover foam board to get a two by six inch rectangle. Cut wooden dowels into three inch pieces. Make three marks on the foam board, evenly spaced on both sides. Mark coffee stirs and cut to the same length as the foam board and include those little dots. Glue the wooden dowels onto the foam board at the little dots, then glue them to the coffee stirs Ah, I feel like it's too tall. So I took it apart, cut off half an inch, and glued it back together. I cut and glue a few more wooden dowels across the bottom, paint it. Now we can go back to our clothing rack, which is now dry. I used a gray base coat and then I followed it up with a layer of silver paint. Take black buttons and glue two together. Cut the ends off of the coffee stirs and glue them onto the buttons. Glue them underneath the popsicle sticks to look like little wheels. Add a few of our wooden hangers and our clothing rack is done. Let's add the Barbie extra metallic bodysuit to one of the hangers, some Barbie joggers and a black leather jacket instead of a dress. I found some white sneakers that we can place on the bottom of the clothing rack. Let's dress the doll in our XOA sweatsuit. This is our sorority sweatshirt from our show, Summer and Cali. There is a full tutorial on how to make this, as well as a free pattern to download and print. And let's pair it with those shoes, yeah. And we can place some black and white Barbie shoes on the clothing rack. Let's add a brown coat that we also made in a previous video. This is kind of working for me. Our sweatshirt is a lot longer than theirs. The Inspiration Barbie had a little necklace like right here on the side, but our sweatshirt is so long you probably wouldn't even see it. Plus I don't have pockets, so we're just gonna leave it out. But our bench is dry, so we're just gonna put that over on the side. Add a white hip bag along with sunglasses. I believe I got those from a Barbie Extra. I took these earrings from the Barbie Extra doll with the blonde and pink hair. I had to heat the doll's head in order to remove them. And now I'm going to cut off these little hooks so they become removable earrings. Remove the BMR earrings and add the Barbie extra earrings. There we go. <sighs> I just found some better white boots. 
They have a thinner heel than the ones we found earlier. Completing our Kith inspired doll. So it's not an exact replica. I am a firm believer in using what you have. Get creative and take artistic liberties. But seriously, Barbie, more coats and sweatsuits and fashion packs would be nice. Just throwing that out there. Now I did manage to get Barbie looks dolls seven and eight. Special thanks to True Big Kid on Instagram for helping me find these dolls. I got them both from Walmart.com for $20 each. They come with a paper certificate of authenticity, letting you know that these are black label dolls. They come with a doll stand. Number seven is a petite made to move with a face sculpt named Tamika. She has a reddish colored hair with a little bit of purple in it. Pulled up into a ponytail with a little bit of curl at the bottom. Painted edges, dramatic eye makeup, and mine has a little beauty mark on her nose. I am pretty sure that's a factory defect, but it's kind of cute. She wears a sparkly two-piece outfit that velcros in the back, and she wears tall silver heels. I think she is absolutely adorable, and I love that she is on a made-to-move body. I think it's what makes me love her more. Because she is super poseable. Doll number eight has an original made-to-move body. Her face sculpt is called Andrea. She has a very serious look on her face, dramatic eye makeup, a rich lip color, short blonde hair that is shaved on the sides, and yes, that is flocked. Wears a black sleeveless top, a silver skirt, and black boots. Okay, so we're going with this whole silver metallic vibe. I can dig it, and I'll be right back. Sleek black heels, silver Barbie leggings, black sleeveless top, and silver hair to DIY my own Barbie looks look. This silver metallic material is definitely becoming a staple in our Barbie wardrobe. We are getting some pretty fun pieces here like this black top that's gonna go well with a lot of different items. We can dress it down for a sporty look or simply pair it with some jeans. I feel like she has a fun look for like New Year's. Let's add a leather coat, and she's ready to meet her friends at the hottest new spot and ring in the new year. I did order doll number nine from Mattel Creations website, but he is in transit. No worries, because I want to check out Barbie Style doll number three. Priced at $100 on the Mattel Creations website, this is a curvy Barbie. She comes with a certificate of authenticity, letting us know that this is a gold label doll. She's dressed in a black tank top and undies, has a doll stand, and a pair of sunglasses. Her hair is brown with blonde highlights. There is a little bit of a wave to it. Her makeup is soft. Her face is pretty neat. She has painted fingernails and toenails. This doll comes with several fashion pieces, like silver sneakers, black athletic pants with a white stripe, and a sparkly jacket that is lined all on the inside. Oh look, and she totally fits in with the Barbie looks dolls. She has a black and white striped long sleeve shirt, two silver bracelets, a denim skirt that velcros in the front, brown stitching, working pockets in the back, working pockets in the front with faux silver buttons. It is frayed at the bottom, but there is a stay stitch to stop it from going any further. She has a white, maybe off-white fabric purse. It's a faux leather and it is sewn shut. A gold colored cell phone, a little pink box purse with silver painted details that can open and close and tan heels. Overall, I like this look, and I wanna see if we can recreate it using items we already have. I'm already on it. Yara Shahidi jacket paired with Barbie fashion pack striped shirt, 
dark denim skirt. I want to say it was from Teresa from Life in the Dream House, but don't quote me on that. Gold colored phone that the doll can hold. White plastic purse. I could have gone with a clutch, but I like the shoulder strap. And we finished the look with some tan heels. Not too bad. They're totally twinning. And now Barbie extra minis. What? We got doll stands. I bought her along with a few others from Walmart.com. They were $14.99, I think, each. She was the only one who showed up to my party. And I think she is actually pretty cute. Boy, Barbie loves those glasses. Standing a little under six inches, this doll is articulated with side to side movement at the head. Can she look up and down? Nah, it doesn't really seem like she can. Tilt to the side. Mm, not for me. There is rotation at the shoulder, articulation at the elbow. She can move at the hip, bend at the knee, and turn at the knee and the elbow. This doll comes with long hair that is crimped, painted edges. Her eyes and lips look pretty clean. There is a little touch of glitter in her eyes. She wears long silver earrings that are not designed to be removed. A yellow necklace. She has a hip bag that she wears as a sling bag, but it does fit a Barbie. And you could probably get away with using her necklace as a Barbie bracelet. She comes wearing a two-tone sprinkles dress that velcros in the back, blue and yellow jellies, a little purple fur coat. It's very soft and it's lined. Wrist and ankle articulation would have been the icing on the cake. But you know, that's just my personal opinion. On a side note, I don't think this doll is meant to be like a Barbie extra Chelsea doll. It does have a little bit of a chest, you know, so I think it's literally a miniature Barbie extra doll. Hence the name Barbie Extra Minis. With that being said, I totally picked up an extra one to see if she was compatible with Chelsea. They are around the same size, and after a body swap, I think the Chelsea doll will be a little shorter. The extra doll's neck looks a little thinner than Chelsea's, so I don't know. But we're gonna try it anyway. Off with their heads! Into a plastic bag they go, then into hot water. Oh no, my bag had a hole in it. She's all wet. But the head is still softened, so let's go ahead and remove it. There, now you can get a look at the neck peg. Ah. Chelsea is all wet too. And ah, it's actually kind of hot. While the head is still soft, let's apply it to the new body. But it worked. The proportions look pretty good, but she is a little shorter than an original Chelsea doll. But I'm okay with that because now we have added articulation and Barbie extra fashion for our Chelsea dolls. And here is the Barbie extra head on the Chelsea body for those of you who are interested. And it looks like they can totally swap shoes. Ah, uh, Barbie extra feet are a little smaller, so they don't stay on. Hmm. Ah, oh, but these Chelsea sneakers work, so I guess it depends on the shoe. And they can wear the little Chelsea skirts so we can add to their wardrobe. Overall, I am pretty pleased with the Barbie Extra Minis. Here she is with some 112 scale furniture. This is by Melissa and Doug, I believe. She is on a doll stand, but I think that's a pretty decent height. For those of you who are looking for more 112 scale figures, since we're swapping heads, the Barbie style doll looks like a perfect match for this Chriselle Lim. Doll. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I love her face and I might just have to do a little swap here. I did it. Normally I don't swap out my Barbie style dolls, but I saw an opportunity here and I took it. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at a few dolls. 
including the new Barbie Extra Minis, and DIY'd our own Barbie Kith doll, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time bye